Hello everyone and welcome back to part 4 of my Europa Universalis One Province Map Let's Play. Um, we are starting about where we left off, maybe a couple of years later, um, but I want to uh, call your attention to a couple things that have changed. Uh, the top left corner you'll see we have a, uh, a million dollars, and a little to the right of that you'll see we have a, uh, we have a million thousand manpower, which I think should give us about enough strength to, to do any war declarations we want to do. Um, we have, of course, in the two years since we since we last played, uh, about two years. I think I think we ended in fifteen ten, was it? Um, I have uh, completed exploration ideas. This is two years ago, or since 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 we played two years ago. Completed exploration ideas. Also completed uh, taken and completed aristocratic ideas and humanist ideas. Um, I figured those would particularly humanist ideas is going to be very useful um, for. Generally, stopping us from getting too many rebels, um, which has been a big problem so far in the game. Aristocratic ideas, I just kind of, I always take it. It's just such a good kind of baseline thing to have. Um, the cavalry, cavalry only get better as the game goes on. So, um, really getting that cost down, getting that combat ability up is fantastic. Um, income from vassals is going to help us. Uh, national manpower modifier. Um, that actually, yeah, that that will that's pretty good for us. Um, I think we're gonna probably drain our manpower pretty quickly, um, since a million thousand isn't that much. Um, so hopefully we'll get it up to uh, a little higher. Um, let's see, let's see. Otherwise, yeah, not too much else. Cost reducing war exhaustion, that's fine. Uh, we do, of course, also have uh, max. Uh, we have maxed out our our uh, monarch points. Um, just figured that would be a good thing to. To let happen. I didn't want to. Didn't want to be sitting around with no monarch points. Um, it'll be a little while before we can get new techs. Not too worried about that. Let's see. I have so far taken all possible um, policies. I don't really know what they do. I didn't really pay attention. I just. I've been told by uh, my superiors that you just should always take policies no matter what. So we're basically just going to do that. Um, perhaps the most important change that's happened, if you look up in the top right, is that we are now in first. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the old score comparison here. Um, anyway, sorry about that. The game seems to have just crashed. I'm not sure why. Um, I just wanted to point out, I'm not going to go back there because the game might crash again. I just wanted to point out that we were uh, number one in the list. Um, so it seems like Sweden is, uh, is second. But something that I realized, um, I did a little bit more exploring. Um, if I'll just zoom out a little bit here, I can show you. And what I realized was that... This is Canterbury? Canterbury. Wow, this is Canterbury right there. Um, what I realized is that there's no one else in this game. We're the only person in this game. Like, what the, what the hell is the point of this? We're the only people in this stupid game. Can you believe this? Like what? What's the what's the like motivation here? Unfortunately, um, given this turn of events, I don't I don't I don't really see where I'm going to be able to take this this let's play. Um, I mean, like what what are we going to do? We're just going to I'm just going to like make videos about me just like sitting here accruing debt and like making large militaries only to have them like taken away from me. Never planned on doing that and I don't really want to now. Well, I think this might be a uh, time to close the uh, the old let's play here. Um, it is of course episode four, uh, which is an unlucky, very unlucky number and uh, in some Chinese cultures. Um, so I think that makes this a pretty good episode to end on. Um, unfortunately, we don't get to use our million thousand manpower. I would have loved to, to put those guys to work. Um, but this is it. I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what to say here. This is truly... I didn't know what to expect out of this game. I just kind of downloaded this mod on a whim, but this is not at all what I expected, and... <clears throat> Uh, frankly, I'm a little I'm a little disappointed. Um, that being said, uh, I know this was kind of a this is kind of like a downer to you guys. I'm sure I can't imagine you guys realize this either. 
that there was no one else in the game, I mean. Um, but, yeah, hopefully next uh, next time we'll play a, uh, a game that actually, like, has some other guys and, like, things we can interact with. For now, this has been Wave Rider 900. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me on this grand and ultimately anticlimactic journey. But I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Bye-bye.